Hey y'all, hey, so today's video is my under the kitchen cabinet sink organization and I'm letting you guys see what it looks like as of right now and it was just um, in a little bit of disarray. It was slightly organized but it just looks completely a mess and yeah, it needed to be re organized and um so I, I did purchase some systems or some components that i'm going to add in addition to this space for this process of reorganizing but um yeah i just want you guys to see that it is not perfect and i'm going to remove the light just so you guys don't get annoyed with it going on and off as i place my arm inside the cabinet but anyway let's get started with removing everything why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder yeah it makes me wonder while i am removing everything so that we can have a clean slate i do want to let you guys know that this video is a part of a summer collaboration with these beautiful ladies i will have the collaborative link in my description box so make sure that after you finish enjoying my video that you click that link and show these ladies some support because they each have their own spin on what they wanted to get organized for this summer but like I said, I'm using Lysol tonight because I am filming this after dark. So I'm hoping that this after dark summer clean declutter situation right here is going to be relaxing for you guys because it wasn't relaxing for me. I was under a lot of stress. It was very stressful for me. I had no sense of what I was going to do or how it was going to look. I just wanted to get it done because I was tired of opening my cabinet doors and seeing all that going on. You saw it. It was a hot mess. But anyway, I'm just giving everything a clean wiping and I'm going to show you guys what it is that came out as a collective. It was bad. I don't even have the vocabulary to explain what it was that I was feeling when I looked at everything. It was just a little bit overwhelming to say the least. But yep, I'm going to show you guys what it is that I ordered from Target. And, and I will try to remember to link everything in the description box. The command strips I didn't actually use. But I'm showing them to you because I the intention was to attach them to my door and hang stuff on my door and use that as extra space but it didn't work out I already knew in my mind it wasn't gonna work but I found these two tier organizers with their drawers or the pullouts um, from Target so like I said I have it linked in the description box and they do come with dividers but I didn't actually use the dividers but I do have them on hand in case something happens and I can change how I'm using them but um, they were really easy to put together and this is the setup that I have right now but as we go further on in the video you'll see that I will not be keeping that lazy Susan so I'm gonna just start putting some things back in the drawers and let you enjoy some music until I have something else to say In addition to all of the soaps that you're probably wondering, girl, why do you have so much soap? I bought these years ago um, during a, a soap sale at Bath & Body Works. But as far as the hand sanitizers that I have um, in abundance, everybody that is living on this <laughs> planet Earth knows that we had a little situation with a, a virus going around. So I have a lot of sanitizer and I just thought that I would appreciate the fact that it's all in one spot it's very visible to anybody that needs it they know exactly where the soap and the hand sanitizer is being stored and that is i just love it y'all i know you haven't seen the end of this video yet but when you see the finished product and how far we've come you're gonna love it i promise it so keep on watching So 
So I'm, I'm sure that you've seen that I didn't like the way the Lazy Susan was working with the products on it. It was bumping into the pipe. So I just took everything off and I'm putting it on the top shelf. That top shelf is going to be like my go-to for like all of my main use products like my power washer. What's that? The Dawn Power Spray for your greasy dishes. Just I really do love it and I have my barkeeper's friend. I don't like the smell of that creamy liquid but I did find the barkeeper's friend like the, the powder and I found that at Lowe's and I haven't used it yet so it's still sealed but in an upcoming clean with me cleaner decorate for summer in my kitchen if you are subscribed with those notification bells turned on you won't miss it and hopefully I'll get to use it in that video. So um yeah. Hopefully you stay tuned for that as well. I did decide to keep some of my baskets um, to, to help keep things in a collective space. Um, this little basket right here, it has my vinegar that I use to clean um, some of my fruits and my meats and such like that. And since behind our house is wooded, there's always flies and things like that coming into the house. So I do have my flying insect spray by Hot Shot and a little bit of bleach in case my like sink or my pipes start to smell funny. I do like to put a little bit of bleach down there and a few drops of lemon essential oils, which I don't know if I've ever shown you guys that on, on my channel, but I do that and I'll try to be, um, I'll try to show that whole process um, in my next cleaning video because I don't think that I have any other actions that I take that I haven't shown you guys but I, I just can't remember but anyway I do have a second basket and it has my dog grooming all the essentials for that I use that dawn on him just to repel like fleas and ticks and stuff like that so if you're not using that before you shampoo your dog maybe you should consider it or just do your own research that's just what I like to do with my dog but I'll have that to the right and behind um, the second tier of drawers. Now that the Lazy Susan is gone, I did put my stackable clear acrylic um, little divider or organizer trays back in the center and I, I do enjoy the way it is looking. Now as I'm placing things back, this will not stay. You know anytime you're trying to organize a space, and you're just feeling your way out and trying to make things more functional and, and also pretty to look at. It's very difficult, so it's like hit or miss. It's trial and error, but I'm sure you guys don't mind watching me do this. I know that it's probably very boring, but I tried to make this as a relaxing experience, and I know I could have sped up a lot of these um, clips here but I just chose not to and I hope that um, you guys accept that and are enjoying this video and if you are please make sure that you are giving it a big thumbs up if you found it at all motivating and inspirational to also try to find an area in your home and give it a little bit of love and attention and implement some sort of functional organization for you and your family. So obviously the little dishwasher tab situation did not work out in the bottom drawer. It was too tall and actually too heavy. It was just a disaster. So I'm removing everything on that top tier of that um, stackable and I'm just putting it in the drawer on the left side of the tier. And um, yeah, that's working out really well. So I don't think I'm going to be changing that at all. I actually... Um, after filming this a few days later, I did add our trash bags to that bottom drawer and Sugarfoot has no idea where the trash bags are now. So he keeps using these huge, big, black, like construction bags in our trash can. <laughs> and I probably shouldn't even be telling y'all that because he's going to be like, why did you tell him that? But anyway, no, he doesn't know where the trash cans are, um, the trash bags are. So I have to tell him that. <laughs> that I move things and sometimes when I reorganize spaces I just I get so into it and if I change something and I move something to someplace else I don't 
always tell him and I feel bad about that. But anyway, do you ever do that? Do you ever like organize a space and like you move something, you put it somewhere else and you forget to tell your your partner in crime where everything is? But just let me know in the comments so we can chat about it. So I put all of my scrubbers and my brushes and my pink stuff in the bottom drawer because that's I just thought that was more smart for me and accessible um and i put all of my microfiber cloths on the bottom i did have my swiffer pads down there but that didn't work out because i needed somewhere to put my microfiber cloths and as far as my sponges go i like to cut them in half usually i have the square shape ones but i can only find this little wavy situation here so i'm just gonna cut them in half and it still yet it worked out perfectly and in the shape of it it was like really cute but i cut them in half because i have really small hands and i just find that that large sponge i don't need to be using that whole thing so um yeah i cut them in half and i think that is super smart and you should be trying it too girl because if you have not already when you cut your sponge in half you're gonna be like why haven't i been doing that a long time ago and where has denise been all my life if you're not if you are new here, then you don't know that my name is Denise. And I don't think I introduced myself, but my name is Denise. That's D-E-N-I-S-E. -E. I just want you guys to know my name. <laughs> so I added my Fabuloso wipes to the top. They smell really well. And my glass cleaner of choice is spray away. I love that. And I'll have those just sitting independently in the back these are going to be my Lucy's, my little loose products and my disinfectant spray i don't know if i've had a real can a, like a branded can of disinfectant spray in a long time but anyway that's the food line brand and it works perfectly well but anyway we are almost wrapping up this whole organization here i wanted to show you guys my first scrub mommy i've never had a scrub daddy or a scrub mommy and i also found the eraser daddies at the lowe's and i'm really eager to try them because they allegedly work better than the um the little magic erasers with the bald headed guy mr clean sorry about that no disrespect to mr clean but anyway <laughs> I'm going to be trying them really soon and to let you guys know how well they work. I might use the pink stuff with it. I don't know. So make sure you have those notification bells turned on and are subscribed to my channel for that new content that I'll be creating. And before we show that last final look and reveal, I just wanted to take you guys back to what it looked like before and what it was that I was um, faced with in the wee hours of the night. Did I tell y'all this was like um 11 12 o'clock at night then all this beauty was created oh my god it's so it looks so good y'all i'm having trouble keeping logan out of this space i've never had to child proof for uh, lucas but this my second child logan she is the one that's making me <laughs> want to buy some products to keep her out of my cabinets but i hope you guys have enjoyed um, reorganizing my space with me everything looks so crisp and clean it has a home and that is what I love about taking the time in the when the seasons change your home needs to change in the inside it gives you time to reevaluate and assess some things that aren't working effectively anymore for you and your family and this just wasn't working properly anymore and it looks really good so it's summertime find something in your house that needs to be worked on get it done let's stop making excuses i hope this motivated you and gave you some inspiration or some ideas and if it did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe because you know you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video bye